Well, continuing coverage tonight of those tornadoes across central Ohio. Tonight, cleanup efforts continue in Hilliard. Thankfully, no injuries were reported, but the storms left extensive damage and forced some families from their homes. 10 TV's Carla Rogner spoke to one man who's surveying the damage. <laughs> Up crews are hard at work in Tom Schick's backyard. It's been quite an experience. I planted these when we first moved in 37 years ago, and I was surrounded by trees, and now I'm totally exposed. 37 years, Tom and his wife Carol have watched these trees grow, only for the tornado to rip them from the ground in seconds. I have blues beautiful blue spruces around that side and evergreens all the way along this side. And you can see how big and they just topped every one of them. It just snapped them all off. Tom says he could feel the moment this devastation hit. We could hear the sh windows upstairs literally bellowing back and, and then we heard a large pop. And then that's when all the trees started going down. While surveying what he's lost, Tom clings to what was spared. And there's my golf man. He was underneath the tree over here, my little golf man. Okay. He made it. I, ca I carried him back over there. The damage is spread across Tom's neighborhood. Winds that reportedly reached up to 110 miles per hour, peeling off roofs and the entire side of one neighbor's garage. We're lucky to be alive. Uh, we're lucky that it was only this amount of damage. Uh, and life goes on. You just regroup. Regrouping and replanting is on the agenda, but Tom would know as well as anyone that a full recovery will take time. I'll have to wait another 35 years or 37 years to get my trees back. So that's that's the sad part. In there. But uh, life goes on. You just replant, rebuild, come back in a year and, and interview me and see what it looks like. You can see that Tom is staying optimistic about all of this. He says that this really has been a neighborhood and community effort. I'm told the city of Hilliard was out here right away cleaning up debris. They also tell me that the Red Cross was here checking on neighbors, making sure everyone's okay. Reporting live in Hilliard, Carla Rogner, 10TV News.